They think it's all over. The warriors head back empty-handed. The lioness returns to collect the cub she left earlier. She hid it in long grass nearby, but the chaos of her hunt has attracted members of another pride. This is their patch and they'll defend it. The mother calls to the youngster. Two other lionesses reach the cub first. They won't tolerate another female's offspring. They'll eliminate it. This is not about hunger. The corpse is left to the vultures and hyenas. The mother's life too is under threat. She's no relation. The pride will kill her if she stays. Outnumbered, without a territory of her own, she heads yet further away from the park. When lions roam, they are at risk, and so are their pursuers. What you're about to see has never been shown before. A tourist's camera videos the end of a hunt. A lion is cornered. There seems no way out. A warrior throws a spear. The tables are truly turned. Teeth and claws strike home. The wounded warrior continues, believing the lioness chose him as the weakest. To overcome his shame, he needs to finish her off. But even warrior pride cannot prevent the injured man collapsing into shock. Meanwhile, the lioness dies of her wounds. She's wearing a radio collar, a park lion. Two different worlds clash. The Maasai collect a trophy, the scientists collect data. Each sees the lion in a different light. It's, it's not a, a romantic, we like to live with wildlife kind of situation, but they never do something to the extent that if, if, a, if a lion is being a problem, they don't go out and try and kill every single lion that they can find in the entire area. I have great respect for them for, for tolerating them to, to such a great degree. In truth, the warriors have made a lethal mistake. The wrong lion has paid the price, and the outcome is nearly fatal for one Maasai. Were he to die on the spot, they would give him a warrior's rights and leave his bones to the night and the hyenas. Night is the time of the four-footed hunters. Most hours are clouded over or feebly lit by faint stars. On moonless nights, the Maasai only leave the safety of their bomas in groups. But there is no safety in numbers now for the grazers of the plains. The darkest hours of the night see restless action. Animal hunters are about in numbers never seen during the day. Spooked, the herds of wildebeest, zebra and gazelle burst into panicky runs. They fear lions and hyenas are nearby, but only the camera can see them.
Not only the zebra are uneasy, a clan of hyenas is also on edge. They've made a kill in another clan's territory. It isn't long before one of the owners claims his rights. He calls for support 